Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the like operator. Like operator is a very useful operator in uh, any form of SQL. So uh, I have decided to make a separate tutorial on uh, this operator. So like operator is basically used for pattern uh, pattern matching, and uh, it is used to match text against uh, a pattern using wildcards. By wildcards, I mean we have uh, two basic wildcards in uh, any form of sql that is the percentage sign and the underscore symbol so we're going to talk about that uh, later so uh, a like operator can return two values that is a true value or a false value so for example if a pattern is matched and uh, we get back the results so the like operator it returns a true value and uh, if we did not get the pattern or the pattern did not match then we get a false value for that so uh, as i told you about the wildcards that are the percentage symbol and the underscore symbol so the percentage symbol basically represents any amount of numbers or characters for example percentage symbol it can consist of uh, a single character or two characters or three characters or four characters or any amount of infinite characters while and uh, underscore symbol it is a representation of a single character only like if i want to extract a single character i can you know uh, i can just place one underscore and if i want two characters similar three characters so i have to place two or three underscores in that way while in percentile like suppose i have a name that has uh, five letters and i want to extract the whole name if i put if i put if i put a percentage there it would extract all the five name all the five letters of the name so next we're going to talk about some examples uh, so uh, first of all I have uh, just selected the database you can see that uh, select star from company so I will show you the like operator on uh, names so for example uh, I want to select all names that uh, begin with P so you could just <coughs> write the query that is select star from company where name like p percentile so as i told you percentile means it could take up any number of characters after p so you would see it now and if i execute you see i get two names that is priya and prayag and you see here after p i have any amount anything anything after p it accepts so this is the use of the percentile character and one thing you have to always remember is that the like keyword is case sensitive for example if I replace the P here with a small case P you will see I get no results now so you have to take care of this always that uh, this is uh, case sensitive so as I told you about the percentile symbol so it considers anything after p any number of characters after p so uh, this is the use of the percentage symbol next example i'll show you like uh, i want a in the or i want r in the second position and then i want uh, a in the third position so how, how will i do that now suppose i told you about the underscore character that means uh, I want A in the second place and I want R oh sorry I want R at the second place and I want A at the third one and rest anything it can be anything so here underscore means that one place has been already occupied this means one character it could be anything second character should be A R and the third character should be A and rest anything so i am expecting a name prayag here so you could just click on execute and see i get the name okay so the next thing that we want is that uh, i want an a anywhere in the name that is it can be the first position it could be anywhere in the middle or it could be the last position so for that what i need to do is put a percentile in the beginning percentile here means it could be any position uh, like anything could occur uh, before A and this means anything can occur after A so if I click on run you would see that uh, I have names that 
contain at least one A in them. So the next is uh, like I want a name that is starting from P and I want it to be at least five characters long. So you see this uh, percentile dash percentile dash percentile and dash. So you could see this it is at least five characters long starts from P has to be one two three four and five characters long so now supposedly if I wanted it should be at least seven characters long could just do two more you see oops I missed something yeah this is six not seven so yeah this is how you mention uh, at least how many characters long it should be next one is I want a name that uh, ends with a so percentile a just the opposite of the first letter P so you could see I get two results now so the next thing I'll do is uh, I want an a at the second position but I want it to end with uh, G so oops I have no result such as uh, 2A P and you will see I get one result now at the second position I should have an E and it should end with A and the last thing that we're going to do is uh, I want a name that uh, should be five characters long first one should be H and uh, two three four and the fifth one should be a so let's see I get the same result again this is five characters long let's see the dashes Nope. So this is how you mention a five character long name and it starts with H and ends with A. So guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. Subscribe for more and stay tuned.